गुड मॉर्निंग द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सेवन वेलकम अवर ई लर्निंग क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस योर सोशल साइंस ज्योग्राफी एंड इन ज्योग्राफी क्लास टूडे यू डिस्कस द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टू इन साइड आवर आर्थ प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रॉक्स द इग्नियस रॉक एंड सेलिमेंटरी रॉक टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट एंड द टाइप ऑफ रॉक इट इज metamorphic rock and also the uses of rocks so let's start the chapter that so there are a great heat and pressure for several years transform the igneous and sedimentary rocks into metamorphic rock an example is marble that our taj mahal the one of the it is a part of our seven wonders and taj mahal also made with marble white marbles and marble is transformed from limestone limestone is a sedimentary rock and from sedimentary limestone due to the transformation with great heat and pressure due to several years marble was formed in the similar way the clay clay also you know clay we made uh, using clay with potters using pottery with the help of clay and uh, slate was made was transformed and clay transformed into slate due to several years heat and pressure under the earth in the crust and now what are the uses of the stones that the hard rocks are uses for making roads houses and buildings so small stone chips they are most often they are used in the building roads houses and buildings you know the uses there are different if they made different different sizes of those rocks and uh, used to build those roads buildings and houses as well as have you seen the ballast are in railway tracks so those ballasts actually made from those rocks they are cut into small pieces and used in the railway tracks now another one the playing games you are uh, so you are familiar this type of games that pit two the seven stones the they also played with stones seven stones needed to play the pit two is another game uh, is scotch scotch is named in the different regions in india like stapu and kitkit in game bengali kitkit is a familiar name to you that in scotch and five stones another game that can be played with the stones and it is also called gitti so we use uh, these are the uses of rocks and there are several uses sometimes we use uh, the uh, rocks and you know, uh, to make some stone slabs and tiles in our homes this is also useful so in this way rocks are very useful sometimes some rocks are uh, to used to judge the actual gold these are one type of uh, rocks another rocks are there they are magnetite magnetite are uh, a, a magnetic a rock with magnetic power so these rocks also used as a magnet in ancient time so these are the use of uses of rocks now we will discuss about the rock cycle okay now we have to understand that the rock cycle so what is rock cycle that one type of rock changes into another type of rock under certain conditions in a cyclic manner and this process of transformation is known as the rock cycle that how one type of rock transformed another type of rock due to some reasons and a long process this entire process of transformation is known as rock cycle so what is rock cycle just watch the picture in the picture the this one is a example of magma so how magma is comes out from the uh, through this lava tubes under the uh, through mantle and crust they come out comes out on the surface and hardened and after hardened they formed the igneous rock and are in this way the igneous rock 
due to the different different natural forces, the wind, the uh, glaciers, the rivers, through to an, uh, through different type of natural forces, they are they break into small pieces, and those pieces are called sediments. And those small pieces and grains now stored in some valley, in some lowlands or valley, in some other regions, layer by layer, layer one by one, the sediments deposited, and after the, and after million years, those rocks, those uh, layers of sediments formed a rock, and this rock is called sedimentary rock. And in this way, these sedimentary rocks also deposited uh, sedimentary rocks and the igneous rock they both due to the enormous heat and pressure when they are co uh, covered with soil and they under the soil or under the crust with due to the huge pressure and heat millions of two millions year they transformed in another type of rock and this rock is called metamorphic rock and inside the metamorphic rock, you have seen the different patterns were drawn. Okay. So, this is metamorphic rock. And what happened? Those metamorphic rock, um, if those metamorphic rock got more pressure and heat and under the surface of earth, inside our earth, then they also molded and turned into magma. So, in this way, the entire cycle, in the cycle one uh, moves on so this way this cycle that's why is called the rock cycle and as well as in a similar way as well as the um, sedimentary rocks are turned into sediments igneous rock also turned into sediments and metamorphic rock they also turned into sed sediments in the small particles due to the natural forces and again they turn into sedimentary rock and sedimentary rock and igneous rock then turned in, again into metamorphic rock and metamorphic rock again due to the huge pressure and heat turned into magma they molded they molded and turned into magma and magma again comes out from the lava tubes to the some weaker places due to the uh, in the time of volcanic eruption or earthquake that comes out from the core and uh, comes out from the inside our earth and spread all over again over the surface as a lava so, and from this lava again igneous rock formed so this is the rock cycle okay now what is mineral so in the different different types of rocks there are some minerals minerals are some chemical compounds that are present on the rocks and the minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and definite, definite chemical composition so it is means had some uh, physical properties have some physical properties some color some smell and some uh, and also a definite chemical composition some chemical composition also pre present some elements also present inside the minerals and such as iron aluminium gold uranium coal natural gas petroleum mica all these things are minerals and those things we have found from the mines and minerals are very important in our daily life you have already know that iron is very useful to evade all these uh, the big the vehicles the bus trucks the aeroplane uh, and the aluminium also very important to make the aeroplanes and the utensils as well as the gold is very important in electronics in, in make, uh, to make some small electronics equipments as well as it is used as a used to make ornaments uranium is very useful for nuclear fuel as a nuclear fuel on the big nuclear reactors and nuclear power plants as well as the coal coal is also important uh, to as a fuel to produce high uh, to produce um, electricity thermal electricity as well as the natural gas the natural gas also used for cooking and other purposes industrial purposes and the petroleum petroleum it is very important that today's age of petroleum all the vehicles they are mostly run with petroleum 
So in this way, the minerals are very important in your life. So that's all from the subunit uses of rock and metamorphic rock and inside our art. Next class will come with the question answer of the chapter number 2 inside our app. So I hope you have understood this away bit. Till then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.